dashboard and I show you how to set things up and all that, we can just do a quick overview here. So you can check out Cogsworth here for free. There's a 14 day free trial, no credit card required. You could just sign up and start using it. And like I mentioned before, it's super useful because you can basically get out of sending emails to set up your appointments, which takes forever. It's very frustrating. And you can set up different types of meetings here, like a podcast interview they've noted, a 15-minute meeting, and so on. Very straightforward. You could um, set up whatever questions you need to ask, and I'll show you what I do in just a second. And most of the other stuff here is pretty straightforward. Um, the other thing to mention is you could link it up to like your Google Calendar, which is what I do, or Office 365, which they mention here. You can get a free basic version uh, with like certain limited functionality, but if you're if you're just getting started, if you're just doing a couple meetings here and there, then free would be totally fine. Um, I have the solo because I don't have like a staff that sets up meetings, but it, corporation could actually use this software and have uh, you know all their different staff be able to manage different services as they call them or basically meetings so let's hop over to my dashboard here i'm not going to go over everything because uh well some of it uh, i don't even use to be honest with you but we'll just look at uh, like my services here again i don't have a staff but you could set up your staff so in this case i have a a few different services. I have a 15 minute meeting, 45 minute, um, a one hour meeting here, and then an interview, which is like for podcasts. So that's like the podcast slash YouTube interviews that I do. And some of them have prices, some of them don't. I think these I set up um, with the quote, uh, you know, me versus all staff, but I'm the only staff here. As you can see, I have been using um, the tool and in the last couple of days I've had um, s several meetings so I've been using it for about two weeks you can see my trial is going to expire here but I'm going to go ahead and upgrade and start using it it seems to be doing a great job now a uh, quick note it'll also show like your appointments so I'm not going to click on it because I, I have some people that I'm meeting with um, but it would display your uh, appointments uh, you know what I'll just I'll blur out their names if it pops up so you can see I have some meetings that pop up. And the other cool thing is it syncs with, okay, cool, no names are listed here. It syncs up with Google Calendar, right? So I linked it up with Google Calendar. So if I have meetings that I've scheduled in here that are not associated with um, anything booked through Cogsworth, no worries, it blocks out the time here. So it's all linked up, everything's integrated, works great. As far as a public booking page, so this is where you set up like the questions that are asked. So if you're gonna do like phone calls or something else, you can like drag and drop and add different things that you're, you need to ask. So I, I'm, I'm not gonna call people on the phone, so I don't need that. However, I do want to use Skype or Google, so you could use Google Hangouts or something like that. So I have um, a question here for what is your Skype ID? Otherwise, it's just standard information, name, email. And then in this case, I need their Skype ID. Now, funny story is I accidentally set this up wrong the first time. Um, there were like four things listed here. One of them was a phone number. The fourth one was a phone number. And I just typed in this question. What's your Skype ID? But it, it was expecting to get a mobile phone number it was expecting to get a, a, a phone number so like anyone that tried to use it they were unable to enter in um, their skype id and they ended up shooting me an email so anyway that said you, you got to be able to set it up right so once they told me that i, I realized the one or two people um, i realized that i goofed up and i need to use a text field here and i make it required because they you know i have to be able to get their information somehow. Um, and then there's a confirmation screen here, so they select a specific time. Uh, as I mentioned, calendar connection, so you could link it up to your Google Calendar or Outlook or whatever. Um, it looks like those are the two integrations, but I'm not even sure what else you could use for a calendar, but it's been working awesome and I really enjoy it. One other thing to note, so the public booking page, you can embed a public booking page on your site. I don't do that because I don't want people to be able to link 
uh, or, or to get the link without me sending it to them. So it's very important that that doesn't happen. Otherwise, people would just book meetings with me that have no reason to and that I don't want to meet with. Nothing personal, but I don't want people to freely be able to just contact me. I want to add some barriers for them. But if you have a, like a brick and mortar business or something like that, or if, it, if you're like more sales oriented for whatever reason, then sure, you could put this on your site and then try, you know, meet with whoever is booking it because that's what you do. Anyway, I encourage you to check out Cogsworth. As I mentioned before, I'm an affiliate. If you sign up and you pay via my link, I would get a commission. If you do, I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, let me know if you have any questions about Cogsworth and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.